Welcome! In this tutorial, we're just going to be taking a look at links on HTML pages. Basically, you know how uh, on websites you click pages to go to other pages? Yeah, I thought you knew how that goes. Well, we're going to be looking at how to actually design that. So, it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, you're going to need four things. First off, a web browser. We've gone over this a billion times. Uh, either, uh, Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer. Um, all works. A web editor, Bluefish is what I'm using, available for free on the internet. Uh, Dreamweaver is fine, whatever else you want to use. Uh, our website folder, if you haven't been following the previous tutorials, uh, yeah, you uh, might want to go back and do those, otherwise you can just use basic HTML files. And uh, that's about it. That's about it. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and open the index file we have been using in Dreamweaver and uh, now we are we are actually going to make a link so we are gonna have uh, we are basically going to let's let's open our page here we're gonna take a look at the page we've been creating uh, why don't why don't we just uh, why don't we just in the second paragraph we're gonna we're gonna put a link so this is the second paragraph in bluefish we're gonna add this is a link to page two or whatever this is a link to let's let's do something more exciting uh, this is a link to the pirate page okay cool so uh, we're we're just gonna save that, and uh, so now now we have here. This is a link to the pirate page. Now, uh, ideally, we're gonna want this to be clickable, or at least part of this uh, sentence to be clickable, right? And then it'll take us to the pirate page. Well, first we have to create the pirate page. <coughs> so we're just gonna make a new page, and this is gonna give us some helpful uh, helpful review, right? So remember, what are the parts that every web page needs. If you don't remember, uh, go ahead and watch the anatomy of an HTML page tutorial again. So, let's start out with our uh, HTML tags, start HTML and end HTML, so that the computer knows that we're coding in HTML. Let's save this as pirate page dot html right save it as a dot html file so uh, be readable as an html page okay now our code gets highlighted right so now we're going to have the head here um, and in the head we're going to have our title uh, our title yep and uh, the title is going to be pirate page very good all right so then we're going to have our body, right? Our body goes after our head. And in our body, we're just going to put down uh, like H uh, in an H2 size, right? If you don't remember how to do that, check out the formatting tutorial one more time. But in our H2 size, we're going to put uh, welcome, welcome to the pirate page. And then we're just going to put a paragraph down here. Again, check out the formatting tutorial if you don't remember how to do that. Uh, and in the paragraph, we're going to put, This is the pirate page. Arr, this page be filled with uh, dragons. Yes, that, that'll work. Uh, you can type in anything you want. <laughs> so we'll save this. Save this as our pirate page. Let's go ahead and open our pirate page just to see what it looks like. Okay. <coughs> go ahead and open the pirate page. Pirate page. Oh. Aye. That looks good. So. <laughs> there's the pirate page. And basically we want we want this or, sorry, we want this link, this sentence here, to link to the pirate page. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our index.html. You can tab over in uh, in Bluefish, by the way. Here's tabs down here. I have two files open. So in this link to the pirate page, uh, we're, why don't we just uh, why don't we just make this the pirate the pirate page? We'll make that part link. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an a tag, okay, A, and end A, alright, now, A is just, uh, 
A is just a hyperlink. A hyperlink is just a link that when you click it, it takes you to another page. Okay? So we have start A and end A, right? But we need to tell the link where to go. So we're going to say href, uh, and that's hyperlink reference. So it's hyperlink reference. So that's going to be the attribute for our tag. If you don't remember attributes, uh, you could go ahead and take a look at the last tutorial, which was on images. That goes over attributes a little bit. But basically, it's just going to be A space href, right? For hyperlink reference, then equals and quotation marks to tell us where to go, okay? So, in our quotation marks, we're going to put down pirate page dot html that's where we want to link it to now see in this folder in this folder our index page when we click on that link it's going to tell the browser to look for pirate page dot html here's pirate page our uh, pirate page uh, dot html file right if you want to find out about a file you can always uh, you can always right click on it click properties and then you can see uh, whoops sorry uh, right click on the file click properties and then you can see what kind of file it is this one's an HTML file right uh, it opens in Firefox so it's gonna find the pirate page so let's go ahead and test this and see how it'll work okay so we'll say we'll save this page and we'll refresh okay so this is a link to the pirate page go ahead and click it there we go it goes to our pirate page right so what if we want to on the pirate page uh, go back to this page why don't we call this page the ninja page we'll edit we'll edit this to make the index page the ninja page right now here's here's something you might want to do since the lines are getting long you go to document and then put in wrap document wrap so that wraps the lines so they they uh, kinda end right here so now we're just going to change the index to the ninja page, okay? We'll just go ahead and save it as the ninja page, right? And we'll go back to the pirate page, and then we'll add we'll add another paragraph, okay? Remember p uh, p tags start start p and end p start paragraph and end paragraph, and in between there we're going to put our new uh, our new paragraph, which is going to go like this. Click here to go back to the ninja page. So this click here, uh, we'll, we'll make that clickable. So we're gonna we're gonna again do our a tag a right start a over here. We'll do end a right. Uh, a is just the tag for links. So start a link, end a link. <coughs> now. What we're going to do is we're going to add the attribute, right, to tell it where to go. So hyperlink reference, or href, it's kind of hard to remember that at first, but you'll catch on. And then we're going to put in there index.html. Yep. So we'll save that, right? All right, and let's just view that one more time. So we'll, uh, we're now on the ninja page, right? And we can click to go over to the pirate page. And then, uh, since we don't want to hang around with the dragons for too long, we can click here to go back to the ninja page. See, look at that. We can just keep clicking back and forth forever. Isn't that cool? All right. So uh, now you know, we basically experience links to some degree, right? What if we want to do something else? Like, say, say we uh, say we take the pirate page and uh, just just make a new folder, new folder in our website folder, and we call it pirate. The pirate folder. What if we take our pirate page and put it in the pirate folder? What happens then? Well, what happens is uh, we go to the we go to our ninja page, we click the pirate page link, and we get file not found, which is quite impolite for the users when you have a broken link there. So uh, what we're gonna do <coughs> is we're gonna go back into Bluefish, and uh, we're our link. Uh, now this this page is gone. I'll just uh, close without saving. Don't worry about that. So now in our ninja page, uh, we want to go to uh, the pirate page link, right? And right now it's looking for pirate page .html, but it can't find it because that uh, file is now in the uh, pirate 
folder. So we're going to put pirate slash. Now is it pirate or pirates? I need to check. It's pirates. Okay. <clears throat> so pirate slash pirate page dot html. So we're going to save this. Okay. And now we're uh, now we're going to refresh that and we're going to click and we go to the pirate page, right? But now the ninja page, the link doesn't work, right? Because unfortunately, we're now in the pirate folder and pirate page. When pirate page looks for the ninja page or index.html, it doesn't find it in that folder. So we have to tell it to go up a folder, right? So on our uh, pirate page, which we're, we can reopen here, we're going to do, uh, let's see if I remember how to do this because I don't usually do it, but uh, I believe you put two dots like that and then a slash, okay? Two dots and a slash. Let's try it. There it goes, back to the back to the ninja page. So the pirate page and the ninja page once again link correctly. Now these two dots just mean go up a folder, uh, and then the slash. Uh, so what basically what happens is we're in the pirate folder, and the pirate page tells us to look for index.html, but it doesn't just uh, just immediately tell us to look for index.html first. The two little dots indicate that it should go up a folder and go up a folder, go up a folder, and then look for index.html. So it goes up a folder, which means it's going to go from pirate up to website, right? And then it's going to look for index.html, which it's going to be able to find. So now our links are going uh, going to the right pages. Now. What if we wanted to link to a website? Uh, like say on the pirate page, we wanted to have a link to a uh, Wikipedia page on pirates. Let's, let's look up the Wikipedia page on pirates first, okay? I'll see if that'll load fast enough for us. Uh, there, piracy. Yeah, let's, let's do that. We'll just, uh, or Pirates of the Caribbean. Neither one is great. So <laughs> just go ahead and right click on that link and then hit copy link location. Okay? So now what we're going to do is on our pirate page, we're going to uh, again enable wrap. Okay, there. So, so we don't have stuff going on multiple lines. We're going to add another paragraph. Okay? I'm going to add another paragraph, start P, end P, and in that paragraph we're going to put, click here to uh, visit Wikipedia's page on piracy. So this click here, we want to make that clickable, right? So we're going to put in A, start A, end A, right? And start A, A hyperlink reference href equals and then our quotes and we're gonna just paste you see we copied that link and we're just gonna paste it right into there right well that's not very clean uh, that's that's the Google link sorry we actually want to go to the Wikipedia page right we actually want to go to the Wikipedia page after Google redirects us and then just then just copy copy this up here okay just copy what you got in the top bar. <clears throat> so then we'll we'll paste that into there, right? We got HTTP and Wikipedia.org piracy. That works. So we'll save it, right? So ooh, the Jolly Roger. All right. So we'll just close this down, and uh, we're gonna refresh our pirate page. Okay. And now we have this nice link click here to visit Wikipedia's page on piracy okay so when we click there what happens oh look at that we go right to the piracy page on Wikipedia so isn't that fun we got we got all these uh, different links we can play with and uh, now we can just kinda jump around all over the internet so yeah that this has been our uh, lovely pirate themed tutorial on links on the internet um, so I hope you enjoyed, hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, hope you learned something. What else is on here? This is interesting. Ancient Mediterranean piracy. Anyway, I'm going to read about piracy and, uh, 
So, <laughs> hope to see you in future video tutorials. Uh, Cameron Versluce, over and out. This is cool.